hey guys welcome back so guys let's continue our laravel e-commerce series so guys uh, in previous video till now we have completed our categories to views over here so this was our group and this was our category right so inside this we have viewed now so now you can see guys that uh, this was the link and this was the design which we have created for it so the uh, just reload this page and show you very clearly okay so this is the view now so the guys now if i click on mobile so it should go to its category right so let's continue with that so guys as you can see we have done till here so i'll just take this a tag and paste over here the card and then copy this and paste below it that's it so i'm going to make this small change over here and we can make that all the thing linkable so you can if you click that will be clickable okay so now it's showing the cursor pointer if you click it will get reloaded because there is no link so guys now let's give a link and let's give the path of it so when you click mobile accessories it should go collection electronics slash mobile accessories if you want clicking mobile mobile okay so in that format so guys, now what we have to do, uh, we will create a link over here. So let's begin with that. Let's use the URL function where we are going to start with the default value which we have given path collections. We have to paste and then give a forward slash and this electronics. Electronics is not a, a static thing. It will be changing. Like if you click electronics, it's coming when you click on men it's coming men if you click on women so it will come women so it's a changing path so guys that means we have to bring this category url so we have already designed in the database for the category url as we have continued to fetch it right so i'm clicking on the categories table you can see that url is available over here right so let's call that url over here by using relationship so guys as we have fetched this category item so let me copy this and let's go to this tag and concatenate dollar item of what um, we have to give previous thing right so previous thing means group we will give i mean model relationship belongs to model we are using and we are using that group url so this is the category so category table is coming with that its default url and uh, images data name so we have to take it i'll just explain you this in very simple what is this actually it's nothing but the relationship so let's press forward slash and again concatenate with default url that is for mobile okay so guys now let's uh, copy this again and paste that category and say url so this will be the subcategory data so subcategory data means uh, this is the subcategory right i'll just show you on the electronics let's move with the electronic details so guys as you can see this is above navbar blue navbar is our group and this is the category so once i click on mobile it will be a subcategory right so let's view this category url so this is my category items category item ka url we have to take it done so guys now this is nothing but your relationship so category and the group relationship is there so i'll just show you in a small demo let me arrange all it so inside app we have created the models folder inside model we have the group and the category things so we are working on the category uh, part so let me click on this category i'll just show you so this is my group id where i am belonging to this groups okay so this group id belongs to group table by its primary id right so i am using this function group so let's copy that function and call your uh, table relationship over it right so using that category of group tables url i am getting it that's it very simple and clear so guys now let's test this what's going to happen in the url so I'll just show you and uh, let's reload the page. So once you have reloaded successfully, let's click on mobiles. Okay. 
so i'm not going to mobile and access it i'll click on mobile so let me click on it and you can see that url has been successfully completed okay so under collections electronics under electronics mobiles you have succeeded right so let's create a route for it so let's go back and let's move to web.php so inside your route folder you can find web.php over here you have clicked so guys now this is our uh, controller not controller i mean web route where we are setting the route so let me copy it once again this will be my group url and forward slash we will tell this also as a category underscore url okay so we have just mentioned with this category url or you can shortcut you can keep that category cat url done and we will say this as category view whatever we click on category its data view should come right so let me copy this and let's go to our collections folder i mean controller so let me click and this is our controller right now right so let's create a function so let me type f u n shortcut function and the function name category view over here you can pass your urls what you have created in the route so example you have two urls group url we will not be using this we will be using this so if you required for any advanced purpose you can utilize it or else ignore that so let's copy the second also so i'm passing this and let's this is will be the good uh, reference so i'm keeping the same that route and thing so guys now what we have to do uh, we will view the page first we will take the category output so this is my category url that second url and let's create a variable called category is equal to our category model so this is my category model where colon with the where condition i am going to get the first data so this will be retrieve only single data okay so now let's paste that uh, whichever id you are fetching this group url so category url means let's go to category table and understand where is that so this is my category table and this is the url link okay so now let's tell this url link and inside that url we are searching with the mobile so mobile is over here and now let's tell that in where condition i have given the url inside that url what url will be are bringing category underscore url done so now uh, we will get the id so we'll get its id and and store into one id dollar category underscore id is equal to we will give okay so now we have stored the id after storing the id we have to fetch that its subcategory details for example let's get back so if i click mobiles under mobiles what all things subcategory things comes so we need those datas so this is our category so i'm just fetching that category things and you can see that um, this error is coming because of uh, we have not completed the code so it's showing that okay why undefined function okay oh we have missed the arrow so let's put that and reload this page you will get some other output so blank output we are getting because we have not returned anything so now guys uh, we have to face the subcategory so let me create a subcategory variable subcategory is equal to subcategory model as you have as we have completed with that uh, admin dashboard so you will understand very clear what are these modules models are so now we are fetching with where condition where condition and we'll use get so before getting this we have to check some conditions that data is deleted or not and uh, status is shown or hidden so we have already done with that so we'll just copy the statements as you know we are working with the previous step only so let me copy and paste right so guys now over here the main point where we have to use the condition for what should we accept so in such subcategory we have to go to our database and check that what is the subcategory url id 
आई मीन कैटेगरीज आई डी सो सब कैटेगरीज टेबल इन साइड दैट आई हैव स्टोर्ड कैटेगरी अंडर स्कोर आई डी सो वी हैव टू सी एंड मैच दैट सो आई जस्ट गो टू माई कंट्रोलर एंड दिस कैटेगरी आई डी वी हैव टू पास इट ओवर हियर सो इन साइड दिस सब कैटेगरी टेबल अंडर द कॉलम आई डी कैटेगरी आई डी वी हैव टू पास दिस सो वंस इट्स पास वी हैव टू व्यू टू द पेज सो लेट्स क्रिएट अ सिंपल व्यू पेज टू व्यू द आउटपुट let me tell on the front end inside collections only we will create a sub category page okay so now uh, we will pass this variables or return the variables whatever with the with, with function using with function where we will tell um we will use this both category variables so first we will pass the category variable dollar category and with the second one we will pass with the sub category variables so let's pass this sub category done once it's saved let's create the sub category page let me go okay let's open this and let's go to a front end folder collections folder inside that sub category we have to create so let's scroll it down so inside front end collections i need to create a file with the sub category dot blade blade dot php let's enter and begin so this design will be like the uh, same something similar output we will bring so for example this is the output right so similar same design we will keep it okay and this will change it to some other thing so let's get back and copy the category same file let's hit control a and paste that file over here that's it and let's change with the title first inside collections category we are moving to sub category so this is for understanding right now right so you have to change according to your uh, title group names and all okay so let's i'll just show you a demo so first let us just assume this as sub category and as you can see the variables you have passed in it so this is the one one variable you have passed the category and the second is sub category so category means will be the single so that let's copy and paste in the this collections as row so let's paste this category and make sure you are having this type of column in your db table so i have passed now inside the category name you will find mobile okay so let me minimize this first and let's output that minimized and let's check the output not minimized we have comment comment that and let's click on the mobiles so i will just click on mobiles and let's see the output what happens cool so you are getting mobiles right but i wanted the before path also because we are coming from the electronics from electronics you are coming to mobile so for that uh it's a simple relationship you can copy the same output and give a forward slash and you can paste it over here and just tell this as go to before uh this is the sub category output right i mean this is the category category output before category the relation goes to the group so let's move to group table of its name that's it so as you can i just explained in the few minutes back about this relationship where we are passing this category and group so as example i have just explained now this is the category model so where we are storing the group id inside the category model i am stored the group id so this group id belongs to group table so i'll just copy this function and paste and call that url and inside that the column names that's it so let's reload and test it so guys again the, the example has been explained of relationship here again and then let's view the output for this below one so guys now let's continue to it so let me open the comment and now let's change the variable for many other things as we have to do with the sub category so let's copy this variable sub category and paste over here 
so the subcategory has been changed to let's make it subcategory items and change everywhere wherever you are finding the url so let's paste that control dd if you press it will select all and ignore it so the image path also is there we have already uh, done with this db things as you can find in your public folder where you have inside uploads you can see that subcategory folder right so let's retype that sub category folder inside that subcategory folder image name is there that's it okay so guys now uh, let's test this again and check the output so let's move it let's reload so we are getting some url undefined prop uh, trying to get property url okay so let me just check it over here so we are getting some error over here right because the relationship is not getting matched over here actually so that is the reason over here see as you can understand we are in the subcategory subcategory relationship goes with the category not the group see as we can see in this model so this is the group category and subcategory so subcategory model goes with the category relationship not with the group relationship so what you have to do uh, do relation into relation that is many many into many okay so guys what we have to do first we have to do with the category relation so let's make first category relationship url so we will understand that we are inside the category url this is the main url okay so let me just reload this page and we can first we will understand the flow so let's see and reload the page okay so everything is working fine but this is not the correct view as you can see uh, let me click this because we need the url collection electronic mobiles and then you want to find the mi brand url okay so collection let me click back once again so guys now as you can see electronics mobiles and if i click this mi brand so you should find the correct url so let me just click what happens over here so let's click that as you can see it's going to somewhere mobiles and mi brands we missed that electronics so for that we have to change the correct url so let me just paste that so i'll just minimize sidebar okay so we are understanding this is the main subcategory url and we are going to category url and we are missing the group url right so let me copy this and let's again concatenate with this let me paste and then dot single quotes again dot inside this double and uh, single single quote we have to give bracket and now see this is the category and we are telling that inside this category we have to move to the another menu to menu relationship with that help of belong to we'll give group group url okay so double time we have pressed so let's remove that so guys i hope you are understanding this it's actually happening inside sub category i am going to category from category to group to group to url table that's it so let's reload and see the page so i have given control r and now let me click on mi brand so we have to find the correct path as you can see collection electronic mobile forward slash you have to find mi brand so let me hit on it cool so collections electronics mobile and mi brand so guys finally we have checked out with that so in this video that's it guys let continue in next video we have to follow with it so guys let's continue in next video about this mi brand which we will be showing all the mobile details that is nothing but product so thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share